Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. Whether it is morning, afternoon, or evening, I want to thank you for joining me and I hope all is well in your world. What I'd like to talk to you today about is employment in my country, which is the United States, or rather unemployment and what I've learned about unemployment and how we come to the percentage of how many people are and aren't working in this country. And what I was disappointed to find is it's a bit misleading. After doing some research, I found that today's unemployment rate is, as of today, is 5.1. So 5.1%. So that would lead me to believe that 4.9, I'm sorry, 94.9% of my countrymen are working. And after doing a little more research, I found out that that is not at all how it works. And I was very disappointed after doing more research and letting it sink in what these numbers mean. Basically, if an individual works and they are laid off or lose their job and they are receiving unemployment benefits, which are different types depending on how long you worked, how much money you made, and it, how many people you have in your household. If you are receiving, receiving <clears throat> unemployment benefits of any kind, you are counted as unemployed. As soon as you stop receiving those benefits, you are no longer counted as unemployed after four weeks because the they figure that the average individual searches for a job for approximately four weeks after they no longer are receiving their unemployment benefits. Who exactly comes up with this four week number? I couldn't find out, but I wanted to at least let people know that the number uh, of 5.1% of unemployment is extremely misleading. Think of how many people you know that are no longer receiving unemployment benefits and are unemployed. I can think of 10 right off the top of my head. And that is really, really disheartening because what it makes it, what it makes me feel like as an American is when I hear of an unemployment rate that goes from 9.1 to 5.1 or whatever when an unemployment rate goes down significantly it's it's hopeful it's it's helpful it's it sounds like uh, the economy is doing better it sounds like jobs are being created uh, you also have to look at the quality of the jobs being created but that's another subject entirely just unemployment rate alone and as misleading as that is, I think there should be some amending to it. Whether it's 20% of the country not working, whether it's 15%, whether it's 40%, whatever it is, however many people are of working age and want to work, how many of those people are not working? And that's what the percentage should be, plain and simple. All of this led me to be more grateful of the online job that I have started, online business. I have started um, about two years ago by now. And I did not have this information at the time I started my online business, but I wanted wanted a business 
that could grow and have an uncappable, uh, not just income, but potential of what it could do and who it could help and where it could branch off to. I didn't want to be pigeonholed in any way. And I did want a uh, job that could have a an uncapable uh, salary or uh, financial uh, uh, possibilities as well. Um, because then you can not only enjoy your own life better, and I live with a spinal cord injury, and anybody will tell you if you have a significant disability, uh, your uh, lifestyle, so to speak, is not uh, an inexpensive one. Uh, disabilities are expensive. So that was another reason why. And I felt more control starting my own business. And uh, it hasn't always been easy, but I love what I do. I love what I'm creating. I love what I continue to create. And I encourage you, if you are looking for a job and have been looking for a job and cannot find one, the uh, the um, possibilities online are unstoppable because you have, as your uh, customer base, you have the whole world as your customer base. And you have the whole world uh, as your I should say um, mentors and 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 teachers and what I learned what I mean by that is once you start your own business in whatever niche it may be in you can find forums and uh, videos and so many things that are helpful to you that you can be communicating with somebody in Tel Aviv and they're doing the same business you're doing and you can you know practice altruism and and share back and forth what's helped you and so uh you can uh help the other person and also what you've tried that hasn't helped you so you can save that person some some pain of going through and and spending time and money on something that uh didn't work for you because in any business you're going to do that you're going to have to do some experimenting um, and uh, find things that work and also go through some trial and error of things that don't always work. So my biggest um, point I wanted to make today is if you're unemployed, get out there and look up how to start right, right online, how to start my own a business online and you probably get emails that say make a million dollars uh, within your first week of work or uh, or uh, job stuffing envelopes or um, different jobs billing and different things you can do from home I've I, there is a lot of I'm gonna say junk out there that you have to weave through there is but do some uh, investigating when you find something that strikes your fancy and ask the tough questions if you're looking um, to start your own business or if you're looking for an online job for another company or to become an affiliate with another company. Uh, ask the tough questions and any company worth its salt should have the answers to the tough questions. So. Uh, get out there and I encourage you to give it a try, to give it a go, and at least do some research because what you have if you're unemployed, one thing you do have a lot of is time on your hands. And most folks have access to a computer. And if you don't, they do have some at some public libraries, uh, some community colleges and state universities will even have areas where you can uh, rent computer time, but uh, most people have at least one computer in their home or the computer of a close friend and do a barter system if you don't have your own computer. 
uh, ask a friend if you can use theirs for two hours a day to do some research and do some searching for jobs online or how to start your own business online. Uh, that's what I did and that's what I recommend because it, it gives you the most freedom. And I did it with absolutely no experience whatsoever. And uh, it's going very, very well. So at the end of this video, you're going to see a link right above it. And it's some educational information that I have found absolutely priceless. And I'd like to share it with you. Because when I find something that really is the the real thing the true thing not the get rich quick um, work from home and make fifty thousand dollars overnight uh, we've all gotten those emails I think this is not that this is if you want to learn and work hard uh, it's a business that you can grow with and do exceptionally well with so please take a look I want to thank you for joining me and again, whatever unemployment rate, uh, whatever that unemployment rate is, uh, right now it's 5.1 in America, which sounds like a low number, but whatever that number is, uh, wherever you are, um, it's if it's uh, calculated in the same way it is in America, it is somewhat, uh, more than somewhat, it's very, very misleading. And um, the true number of people out there that aren't working is much, much more than 5.1% of this country, uh, my country. So again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy the information I've shared in the video. And remember, take a look at the link I've shared and I always love to know what people think. So feel free to leave me a comment at any time. I hope wherever you are, uh, this finds you all well in your world. Thank you for listening again and I'll see you really soon. Take good care.